To create a video on your Chromebook, you actually have this camera app. If you can't see it on the bottom toolbar or wherever you have your toolbar positioned, you should be able to click the little search dot and start typing in camera to find your camera app. Once you've found it, you can open it. And here we are. It starts off in photo. If you're going to make a video, click on video and that will change the setting. You'll notice that you also have a microphone over here. So I can turn that off or on. We'll, we're going to keep it on so you can hear the video. Um, you want to keep it in normal. You don't want to make a GIF or a GIF or however you pronounce that. And once you're ready and you have your script and you're ready to record, you just start recording. And I can see the time up here. It's counting down. I would just have to breathe and read and be confident in myself and my abilities. And once you're ready to finish, you click the red stop recording button. And then it's saved onto your Chromebook. So the question then is, how do I get it to my blog? So let's go back to our web browser and I'm going to open up my drive and also find my files here. So I'm going to look for files. There we go. So I'm going to open this because this will now have my camera folder here. So I do have a video. It's not very long and I can just drag that into my Google Drive and it will upload that video so that I can use that in my blog. Now it says it's uploaded and I can see my project here. So I'm going to open up my blog again. My next step is to navigate to my pages. I want to find the correct week and we're going to put this in week two. So I'm going to insert from drive. I remember it said something about vid. So let's look for a vid file and see what comes up. There it is, first thing. So I can select that and choose insert. Now my video is inserted into my web page. I can move it so it can be centered. But I did neglect one super, 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 super important step. I need to make sure that everyone can see that video file. So if I click on my video here, I need to click on the three dots and choose to share. See how that general access is restricted? You want to select that and make it so that Gadsden Independent School District can view. So I'm going to click done and that's going to be saved. And now when I go back to my website and publish, it's going to show me the difference between the draft and what's currently published and list the changes that have been made. I click publish. And you can always click that view button just to make sure. And then go ask your teacher if they can see your lovely video here. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.